guys, welcome. Practice today is to help you strengthen and shorten your hamstrings. So a lot of yoga practitioners can get yoga butt where you're basically in an anterior tilt and your hamstrings are overstretched at the top. So you can't actually engage your glutes and shorten your hamstrings until you learn to neutralize your pelvis heavy your tailbone, open the fronts of your hip flexors and your quads. So if you want your ass to be tighter and toned, this is also gonna support with that because we have to strengthen this whole back line to get toned. Um, and again, if you have a yoga practice, there's lots of passive forward bending. And forward bending is great, but you wanna be able to balance it. So when you think of your hamstrings just like your bicep, you wanna be able to shorten them all the way and lengthen them all the way. And you want to be able to have strength in both those ranges. So when I bend my knee, I'm shortening my hamstring. However, if I have an anterior tilt, a lot of this extension in my spine and my hip is coming from my low back. I'm doing a back bend. So to get this more in the hamstring, I wanna pull the belly in, heavy the tailbone, line up my knees, and then you'll feel this action more in the hamstring. So I'm gonna walk you through some practices you can do at home. We're gonna start against the wall. So go ahead and sit on your mat, take your feet up on the wall, bend your knees like 90 degrees. And you could have your hips right underneath your knees. Cool, I want you to put your heels on the wall. Your toes are reaching up. Drag your heels down. That's gonna lengthen and press your low back into the floor. Slowly lift your tailbone first, and then your low back, and then your mid back. Feel your hamstrings working, yeah? And then inhale, release. Again. Drag your heels in and down. Pull your hips up. Slowly lengthen each vertebra and then tailbone last. Three more, inhale, lift, heels down, tailbone up. Slowly lengthen, smearing your hamstring back on the floor. Inhale, rest. Again, exhale, heels drag. They're not moving, but you're pushing into the wall and down. Try to balance left and right, using them both equally. Good, inhale, lower, let's do one more. Exhale, tailbone lifts. Good, stay there, lift the right leg up, right foot down, left leg up, left foot down, and slowly lower. Nice, okay. We're going to lay on our belly. Same idea. <clears throat> You're going to bend your knees. You can flex your feet towards the sky, and I want you to notice that you can lift your butt, and there's gonna be space here, yeah? That's shortening your hip flexors and overstretching your hamstrings. Your butt, where your butt and your hamstrings meet. So I want you to do the opposite. I want you to squeeze the heck out of your glutes and press your thighs into the floor. Inhale, release. Exhale, push the hip crease into the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your feet where they are, so they're just over the knees. Flex the feet. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze your glutes. Press the front of the hips, the pelvis, into the floor. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, smear the pubic bone into the floor. Heavy your tailbone. Get rid of that front hip crease. Good. Inhale, release. Two more. Exhale, push. Squeeze. Inhale, release. Last one, squeeze. Stay squeezed, lift your right leg, 
lift your left leg, lift your right leg, lift your left leg, right, left, right, left. Good. Squeeze for two more seconds. Tailbone long. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull your heel to your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> squeeze your butt. And then release. Nice. Hopefully you felt that. Okay, so we're going to move into a few lunges. So I want us to do a 90-90 lunge, and I'll tell you why. So step your right foot forward. So not a deep lunge like on Janae where we're doing a back bend. We're actually going to get rid of the back bend. So the knees over the ankle. Your hips are stacked over your back knee. And I want you to focus on pressing the left foot down into the floor. And as you do that, you'll feel the left frontal hip flexor and quad lengthen. Why is it lengthening? Because you're getting rid of the anterior tilt, right? If you naturally have an anterior tilt, I do, the belly kind of drops forward, right? It's, it's an overstretched abdominals and overstretched hamstring. So we want to pull the front hip bones up, pull the belly in, heavy the tailbone, press the left foot down, 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 down. Good. Do that again, release, rest for a breath. Same thing, belly in, tailbone down, press the left heel down. At the same time, draw your right heel back. That's gonna turn on your hamstring a little bit. Good, inhale, release, let's do one more. Press your left foot down, heavy your left tailbone, draw your right heel back a little bit. Good, we're gonna add on um, further strengthening the left hamstring. So I want you to step your right foot forward a little longer, more traditional lunge. If your left knee is sensitive, you can put something underneath it. And we're going to teach the hamstring to shorten and engage. So pull your heel up to your left sit bone. Inhale, lower. Good, two more. Lift your heel towards your butt. Trying to dump in your belly. That's important. Inhale, lower. So try to pull the belly away from the front thigh. Let's do one more. Lift the heel up. And lower. Great, now we're gonna take a passive stretch. So we're going to assist with the hand. So reach your left hand back. If you get a cramp, come out and come back. I know. If you've never done this work, it can be intense. And I want you to pull your heel towards you. So what are we doing here? We're passively lengthening the quad and hip flexor and shortening the hamstring. Now I want you to stay here and squeeze your left glute. That's gonna fire up even further, training the muscles to activate in this place. Activate where the hip flexor and the quad are getting longer and the hamstring is getting stronger and shorter. Again, don't dump in your low back, no back bend, belly in. Go try to keep your foot there when you let go of it. It's not easy. Three, two, one. Good. Let's do the other side. 90-90 lunge. Your legs are gonna feel so good after this, and then when you start to forward fold again, it's gonna feel like nothing, right? Because we're strengthening the muscle. Muscles like to be strong before they stretch, right? They like to be able to go through their full range of motion. Okay. 90-90, ankles under the knee, knee under the back hip. And we're gonna just focus initially on pressing the right foot down. That is gonna open up the front of the right hip. Kind of engaging the right glute as well. Inhale, rest. Exhale, belly in, tailbone is long, press the right foot down. Feel that open up the front of the right quad and hip flexor. 
Good, release. We'll add on, press your right foot down, belly in, tailbone long. Now drag your left heel towards you. Turn on your left hip, left hamstring. Release, one more. Press the right foot down, heavy the tailbone, belly button in and up, pull your left heel back, and release. Good, we're gonna go a little further with the left foot, so slightly more of a stretch in the right hip. Still, it's important to say that I don't want you to find a deep back bend, right? This is not about going as deep as you can. That's a different practice for a different day. Today, we're kind of strengthening the back line of the legs. So in order to do that, again, I keep re reiterating, you have to get rid of your anterior tilt to strengthen the back of the hamstrings. So I want you to think the belly is in, the tailbone's down, the right hip, the front of the hip is open. Good, and then we're going to strengthen the hamstring by drawing the heel up to the butt. Inhale, release. Again, use padding if you need. Two more. Lift your heel to your butt. Pelvis stays square to the front. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Good, release. This time, lift. Reach back, catch your foot. Give yourself a passive stretch. You can take both hands if that's available and get rid of the low back bend in the low back. So pull the belly in, pull the tailbone down, squeeze your right glute, and you can even push your foot into your hand a little bit. So move a little bit between passive, pulling your heel towards you, and you can press your foot into your hand. Squeeze your right glute. Roll the tailbone down. Roll the front of the hip up. Good, keep that action. Drawing the heel to your butt as you let go. Three, two, one, release. Cool. Now we're gonna come to stand and there's an option to use the block if you have a block. You could also really use anything that is about this wide. Uh, that's not too heavy. This is actually a heavy block, so it makes it harder. Um, but that's optional, so we'll get there in a moment. We're just going to do the same thing, standing, which can be um, tricky with balance. So if you have issues, just put your hand on a wall. I'm going to turn to the side. Let's do our left leg first. So we're on our right leg. Draw your left heel towards you. Again, belly in, tailbone's long. Try to stack your knees. Release. And let's do one more, this time catching the foot with your left hand. Line up your knees, draw the belly up, heavy the tailbone, maybe reach back and grab with your right hand. Give yourself a passive stretch, pull your heel towards you. Good, squeeze your left glute and think that you're pulling your tailbone down. Great, keep your heel where it is as you let go of it as best you can. Good, pull your knee forward, straighten your leg, lengthen that hamstring, that should feel nice, and release. Let's just do the other side. Stepping on your left foot, draw your right heel towards you. Belly in, tailbone long, line up your knees. Release. This time bend and catch your ankle. Reach back with both hands if you want. Draw your heel towards you. Squeeze your right glute. Heavy your tailbone. Think that the pubic bone is, the front of the hip bones, the pubic bone is pulling up. Good, squeeze your glute. I want you to let go of your foot and try to keep it there as best you can. Remember, it's all a practice. And then let's lengthen that hamstring, knee forward, extend the leg, and release. Cool, we're gonna make it a little harder with a block. We'll only do one of these. This kind of kills me, so I'm sure it will kill you too. We're gonna stand on our right foot, draw your left heel towards you, line up the edge of the brick, one on your left butt, one on your heel. 
and just push your heel into the block. Notice if you're back bending a lot, pull your belly in. Good, knee forward, grab your block, just one. You can always repeat the video over and over if you need a little more. Okay, draw your right heel towards you. Knees are lined up. Slide the block between your heel and your right glute. Try to line up your knees. Squeeze, squeeze, hip bones up. Squeeze, squeeze. Take your knee forward, grab your block. That's over. Okay, block to the front. And let's come on to our back. And we'll just take a moment to gently release and lengthen the hamstrings just a little bit, not too much. Hopefully you feel your hamstrings turned on. That's a really good sign. So you're gonna straighten your left leg on the ground, interlace your hands behind your right thigh, and I want you to push your thigh into your hands and flex your toes towards your face. Pull the right hip down, so square the pelvis, press your thigh into your hands. Good, maybe give your thigh a little pull towards you for an extra stretch, passive stretch in the hamstring. Keep flexing the toes. Good, release, other side. Right leg straight, interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Push your thigh into your hands. Flex both of your feet. So flex is like flattening the foot, reaching the toes towards you. Pull the left hip down so you feel that your pelvis is level, your hips are level. Neck is long, shoulders back. Press, press, press. So your elbows are straight because you're pe pressing your leg into your hands. Good, and then pull your thigh towards you any amount. Keep flexing your toes. Beautiful, bend your knees, let your knees draw in. Maybe rock a little left and right. And you can come on up. I hope that this really supports your practice. Let me know how it goes. Leave a message in the comments or send me an email or a DM. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.